There's a listing of the comprehensive Bible helps on the left here and a preface to the Thompson chain and the analytical and synthetic systems of Bible study, which you can read about. Then our primary focus on this KJV Thompson chain large print is going to be this explanation of the margins, text cyclopedia, and the journey maps, which you're seeing the wide angle shot of here. Probably the most important sections of this explanation of the margins and text cyclopedia and the journey maps is going to be numbers one and two. Number one, we see here, it says the pilot number. Uh, we're also going to be referring to this as the topical guide number, but here in the introduction, as it originally was, the pilot number says that the pilot number on the margins of the Old Testament and the New Testament was made to furnish a more rapid method of study of the scriptures. The continuity of the chains in passing from the Old to the New Testament is unbroken. Also, the pilot number enables the reader by a single turn from the margin to the comprehensive helps to find the complete reference chain or other information desired. Whereas number two talks about the forward reference. The reference printed at the right of the topic is called the forward reference because it leads toward the end of the chain. To find the beginning of the chain, using the pilot number, the reader should turn to the topic in the text cyclopedia. So we're going to take a closer look at that pilot number or topical guide number in the margins and see how that works. So we're going to jump to John, the Gospel of John, and John 1.1 and use that as our springboard text and look at an example of this topical guide number or pilot number. So we're zoomed in on John 1.1, 1, 1, and we're seeing here, of course, this division of the actual text of the scripture itself. Here's the two columns of actual scripture text. Then, of course, the outside is this margin. These are the margin references and margin special sections in the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. So we're seeing here in John 1.1, 1, 1, first this subheading, the divinity and incarnation of Jesus Christ. And then we see the text there. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We love that verse here at the KJV store. That's actually our company verse. And notice that things happen horizontally to the outside margin. So here on the left-hand side, we're going to take a closer look and see uh, what is the margin reference and what is this topical guide number that the introduction was talking about. So here in the margin, we see this same subheading, chapter 1, the divinity of Christ, which we know is the same one we're seeing there. And then we're starting to see these numbers. That's a 700 that says Christ, comma, the word in quotation marks. Then we see a 1, colon, 14. Then, we're then we see 709, Christ eternal, 858, 702, Christ divine, with a 2, and Romans 1, 4. 709, the pre-existence of Christ, and 680, Christ as creator. So we're going to focus on this number 700. What is that talking about, Christ the Word, and what is that 114? And what we're going to see is that number 700 means we should look up number 700 in the complete system of biblical studies in the back of the Thompson chain, and that's where we're likely to find the topic called Christ the Word. Then when we see this 114, what that is, is that's going to be a forward reference. The forward reference means that it wants us to go in this same chapter of John chapter 1 and read verse 14 as well. So let's read verse 114 uh, to start and then go to 700 in the complete system of biblical studies. We see John chapter 1 verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, which is a somewhat similar verse to John 1.1, 1, 1, and hence the forward reference of that same verse. As we get to the back of the Thompson chain to look for that number 700 topical guide or pilot number, first we come to a complete system of biblical studies. Then we get to the condensed cyclopedia of topics and texts, which starts with that number one at the top of the page and ends with a 20 down here at the bottom. So we know we're getting closer until we come to what we're looking for, which is number 700, which means the word. As we get a semi closer look, we're seeing at the top of the page here, that's a number 680 that says Christ Jesus. Then we're seeing Christ divinity and humanity, and that's a number 701 at the top corner. But specifically, we're going to focus in again on this 700, the word. So here, right above this heading of Christ, divinity, and humanity, we are seeing this number 700. And in parentheses, it's a 10. And then we see the word. And there's an NM. And then we're seeing here 
John 1.1. 1, 1. Well, guess what? We just came from John 1.1. 1, 1. Then we see comma 14. That's saying John 1 verse 14. Well, we read that as the first example of the forward reference here in the Thompson chain. But then we're also seeing a 1 John 1.1. 1, 1. Uh, 1 John 5.7, that means, comma, then RE period is Revelation 19.13. And then it also says for other names and titles, see titles on pilot number or topical guide number 3632. So this is the 700 that John 1, 1, the note in the margin, the number in the margin sent us here. It sent us to the back of the Thompson to look for that. And we're seeing above that, we're seeing, guess what? Uh, the true vine. We're seeing a little further up there, a, a rock of offense. And what this is, is it's actually talking about names of Christ. To get a little better idea, we can go back just one page here to 1383, and it's going to make a little more sense. We're seeing here that this is the beginning of the topic of Christ Jesus, and we're also seeing Christ Jesus and the number 679 as that pilot number or topical guide number. Now we're seeing that topic of Christ Jesus and number 677A, anointed one. Then we see B, number 678, the ascension of Christ. 679C is the blood of Christ. 680D is Christ the creator. 681 and E are the cries of Christ. And 682F is the glorified Christ. 683G is the glory of Christ. Then we get back to the bottom of page 1384. And we're seeing this H, miscellaneous topics of Christ. And on 684, there's a one, his mission, 685, and two is his oneness with the Father, 686, three, our righteousness, 687, four, seven last sayings of Christ, transfiguration of Christ, a witness of Christ, his personal appearance of Christ, names applied to Christ, a branch, 692, a cornerstone, master, messenger, messiah, morning star, prophet, Rock of offense, the true vine, and then guess what? Back to that familiar number 700, the word. So that's the way this works. That's what this is talking about here in this condensed cyclopedia of topics and text. That's what the number 700 is, the pilot number, the topical guide number. It's to help you find what that scripture is talking about and how it's organized in the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. And you can see, it's powerful to see all that information about Christ. And notice how on most of these here, on these miscellaneous topics of Christ in H, so that's 684 through 700, which Christ the Word is, it's just listing the reference. So you're going to have to individually turn to those as we did to John 1.1, 1, 1, as we did to John 1.14. But then these other pilot numbers and topical guide numbers on the left, such as 682, the glorified Christ, it's giving us the full verse, the reference, and the text. So seen at the transfiguration, then we're seeing the full text of Mark 9.2 and 9.3. And then as portrayed by himself, we see the full text of John 1.51 there. And that's kind of the difference there. Uh, I'm assuming Dr. Thompson just kind of the ones that he felt uh, more pertinent, uh, more important sections, he tried to put the entire verse text there. Uh, pretty handy when that happens. Uh, but either way, we're going to see as long as we have the references, we can still find everything there is to know about that topic, number 700, Christ the Word. As we get back here to John 1, 1 and John 1, 14, you remember that we read the verse of John 1, 14 about the Word being made flesh and dwelt among us. And as we showed previously, all you need to do is go horizontally out to the margin and looky there, there's that 700, Christ the Word, that same pilot number or topical guide number. And this should also look familiar. It's saying that the forward reference now is 1 John 1, 1. Here's the book of 1 John, and here's 1 John 1.1. 1, 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, of the word of life. And once again, we see out to the left, there's that 700, Christ the word, and it says Revelation 19.13. So we get to Revelation 19. And Revelation 19.13 says, And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. So there we're seeing Christ the Word, the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God in John chapter 1, verse 1. 
all those verses work together. That's what Dr. Thompson is trying to tell you there. That's what this chain reference and Thompson chain reference Bible is built on. It is those references. It is that same topic, that same pilot number, Jesus, the word. And notice if we look out to the right here in the margin that this uh, 679 blood of Christ, there's no more 700 because Revelation 19.13 is the last forward reference and the last listed reference in number 700 Christ the word in the back of the Bible and but also number 679 blood of Christ well there we're seeing John 1 1 and 1 John 1 1 again so just because they're a part of the 700 pilot number or chain doesn't mean they can't also be a part of the 679 blood of Christ chain blood of Christ that same one was right there on pages 1383 and 1384 in the complete system of biblical studies, in the condensed encyclopedia of topics and texts. So that's the beauty of this Bible. That's what the Thompson chain does. Uh, and if you follow those, so whether you started in John 1, 1 and just followed the references in the margins, or if you followed that pilot number 700 and went to the back, the condensed encyclopedia of topics and texts, either way, you'd get to see all of those scriptures that you needed to, John 1.1, 1, 1, 1 John 1.1, 1, 1, Revelation 19.13. So we've seen by now how those pilot numbers work and also the forward references, features 1 and 2 of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. But now we want to know, what if you want to look it up in reverse? What if, rather than you're reading John 1.1 1, 1, and you follow the forward references or do the pilot number, let's say you have a specific topic in mind and you want to know, how do you find the verses on that subject? Or what do you, how do you find out what the Thompson chain has to say about that? Well, you would come here to this general index, the general index at the back of the Thompson. As a quick and broad example, we've come to the E and F G page, and let's use the example of faith here on the left-hand page. So we get here to the F section of the general index, and we're starting to see faith here. We see that faith and the basic example or basic definition of it is unbelief. And it says it's going to be covered through pilot numbers 1201 through 1226. Then we see these other 12 examples here. General references to faith, enjoined faith, justification by faith, blessings according to faith, examples of victorious faith, faith that secures salvation, great examples of faith, promises to those who exercise faith, faith that it aids to faith, uh, little faith, tested faith, honored faith, defended faith. We see, even see weak faith. So basically everything you want to know about faith, you can start here in this general index. And again, the Thompson covers more than 8,000 topics. So you can kind of study in reverse and then go to the pilot numbers and see all the verses about these various types of faith, the various examples of faith. A less broad example than faith might be something in the P section here on page 1346, like the Passover. And down about the middle of this page, number 1346, on the left-hand column, we're seeing Passover. Only two pilot numbers and two examples there. First one is just going to be the general Passover, and then the other one is going to be the Feast of Passover, which is 1256. We're going to take a look at that 1256 pilot number and example. So here on page 1416, in the back of the Thompson, we're going to see number 1256 about the Passover, the pilot number or topical guide number, 1256. So here is 1256, and it's feast and Jewish feast. And then number one says of the Passover. It says here that it's held on the 14th of the first month, Abib, which parentheses we see, that means April. It says to commemorate the exodus from Egypt. And then there's the Feast of the Passover. And then it gives all these references here. So now we're going to know Leviticus 23, 6, Numbers 9, 5, Hosea 5, 10, uh, 2 Kings 23, 22, 2 Chronicles 35, 1, Matthew 26, 17, Luke 2, 41, 22, 15, and Hebrews 11, 28, if we wanted to follow that chain and read more about the Passover. The important thing to understand as well is that really the text of the Thompson chain, the forward references, those pilot numbers, they all work together with the back features, the back features of the Thompson chain, which is going to be, going to be this complete system of biblical studies that we're seeing here. To put it in perspective, you can physically see it now. Nearly one third. So that's, that's Genesis through Revelation on the left. This is 
the back features the complete system of biblical studies on the right. So nearly one third of this Thompson Chain Reference Bible is the back section, is the back features. That tells you how substantial it is. I mean, you can see it there. So it's kind of interesting on this Bible because normally you open to the middle uh, and you're going to be close to Psalms or something like that. Here, you're already in the New Testament on this Thompson chain, which kind of shows the depth of these back features and how important it is that they work together on the Thompson chain. So what exactly makes up that full one-third section of the Thompson chain and this complete system of biblical studies? Well, we see it's made up of eight departments. First, the text cyclopedia. Second, Bible readings. Third, the outline studies of the Bible. Fourth, studies of prominent Bible characters. Fifth, Bible harmonies and illustrated studies. Sixth, the archaeological supplements. Seventh, the concordance. And eighth, the colored Bible atlas. We already saw the general index and the examples of faith and Passover and how to do the reverse study and scripture lookup in the Thompson. And we saw this condensed cyclopedia of topics and text. We saw the pilot number 700, Christ the Word example. We saw 2686, the Passover example. Then we get to this pretty cool section called Special Bible Readings here on page 1571. Notice that even though we've already made it past the general index and the condensed cyclopedia of topics and texts, that the pilot numbers are still going. So 4129, worthiness divine, that ends there in the complete system of biblical studies and the condensed cyclopedia of topics and texts, but they keep going. 4130 starts here on special Bible readings. I really liked number 4147, Common Delusions, the pilot number here in these special Bible readings on page 1572. So here's a closer look at 4147, Common Delusions. This is almost a sermon or a Sunday school lesson in and of itself. The first one is thinking that sin will give fullness of life. And it gives the Genesis 3, 5, and 3, 6. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And Genesis 3, 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. So, Thinking sin would give the fullness of life. Gave the first example there of Adam and Eve in the garden. Uh, it did not fulfill them. It, the sin did not work. Uh, we see there that trusting in racial connections for salvation. Pretty cool. This is list the Matthew 3, 9. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. So he's talking about the children of Israel there. That uh, that's You can't just trust being born a Jew for salvation. You must actually trust Christ. We see one there using vain repetitions in prayer. That's Matthew 6, 7 example. Uh, but when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Uh, there's one on self-confidence as well. More common delusions, as we said, self-confidence, building on the sand, trusting in riches. How about thinking the deity is represented by idols, or thinking that there is plenty of time, or presuming upon unchanging conditions? So we see those were all examples of what Dr. Thompson considered to be common delusions and common missteps or pitfalls of faith. There's a section on outline studies or analysis of the books of the Bible. So rather than what you might see in like the Schofield or more modern study Bibles, where you see the book introduction and outlines at the beginning of that book in the regular Genesis to Revelation Bible portion, this instead, the Thompson puts them here at the back. So you still get the in-depth outlines here for the book of, Joseph, the book of Genesis, uh, which of course is the book of Origins, also the book of Exodus. So if you want to see the further background information about a specific book, all the 66 books are here in this outline studies or analysis of the books of the Bible section on page 1596. There is the very large archaeological supplement, uh, which may be kind of the first of its kind to appear in any King James Version study Bible, and we'll take a look at some of the examples here. One example of the archaeological supplements would be here on the Rosetta Stone. It says that one of Napoleon Bonaparte's engineers found the Rosetta Stone at Rosetta, Egypt, near the mouth of the western branch of the Nile. It was an oval-topped black granite slab, three feet nine inches high by two feet four inches wide and 11 inches thick. It bore on its face 
Three languages common to the ancients of the Nile Valley. One was Greek, but the other two were unknown. Many men strove to help read these two languages, but a brilliant French lad by the name of Jean Camp Campolion, pardon me there, dedicated his life to the ferreting out of these mysterious unknowns. His older brother supported him, and while for 23 years he wrestled with the stone's contents, finally, in 1822, he published complete translations of the trilingual inscription coupling the demotic and the hieroglyphic with the Greek. Thus, proving that the Rosetta Stone was written in three languages, the tongues of the pharaohs, with which future archaeologists would unlock the hitherto unknown historical and literary treasures of the Nile Valley. Rosetta Stone, very cool, very key to understanding language, written language, lots of history. Uh, it's on display in a, a museum in London that I've been to. Really cool thing to see and neat to see this in the back of the KJV Thompson Chain Reference Bible. It's worth mentioning here in the archaeological supplement that not only the Rosetta Stone, but many other artifacts that are actually present in this archaeological supplement are still on display at the British Museum in London. One of the final features is going to be the concordance, the revised concordance and key to the topical study of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible that we see begins here on page 1813. So the concordance lets you look up words alphabetically, uh, such as alway, and then it'll tell you where in the Bible to look up and see that word always, such as the spirit shall not always there in Genesis 6 verse 3. There are also 12 full color maps at the back of the KJV Thompson chain, such as map number four here, the 12 tribes of Canaan. From the KJV store, the number one source for King James Version Bibles, where KJV is our middle name. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to sending you your next KJV Bible soon.